Yeah. Mia's about to go to the post office with both kids without me. And I'm going to go work on the yard and do some work outside on the house. Check me out, guys. I got a monkey on my back. This is my first time to carry him on my back, so I'm practicing loading the boxes in the car <laughs> for when I get there. He likes it back there. He likes it. He feels like a cute little spider monkey. All right. So I'm not helping her. Let's see how she does. <laughs> You're doing great, honey. I'm glad I don't have a lot of bags to take. I love it. I should wear him like this when I get ready in the mornings. <laughs> I should just like put him on and do my hair. Yeah, just put him on and walk around the house and do your things. Sweep. Get the kitchen done, sweep, yeah. I love it. He does like First it. things first is what I'll be doing out here is getting this table out of here. I'm gonna have to carry it to the backyard. Let me take you to our backyard. You guys have been back here a long time ago. So I just recently started uh, replacing some siding on the house that was rotting. We're, I'm working on getting it ready to paint because we do not like this color. And as you can see in the front, there's a lot of uh, just a lot of uh, paint chipping off, and it's all over the house. It needs to be repainted. So before we went viral, that video went viral. I had been working on the house. So this is what I've been doing. Right now, all I did so far would replace all the siding on the bottom. It was, this was all rotting. So this extended all the way down here, the red. Went all the way down the bottom, but it's rotting on the bottom. So what I did was just cut the bottom off instead of taking the whole siding off the side of the house. I just cut the bottom off and replaced the bottom of it and put this, um, so, uh, put that trim right there. I replaced the whole back door. I did the front door too. So I have to finish with the trim on this door and I have to go up here. As you can see, I took all the siding off up there on the roof, all this up here, and I gotta cut pieces to fit there. I'm gonna finish the siding job I started about four months ago. Today, I think I'm gonna seal that table that's in our driveway yeah. once and for all. Sam's outside working on the yard, and I think I can convince him to move it where I want it and let me seal it. So I'm here looking at all of these sealers, these little water sealers. I know nothing about this. And so, I, th I think it seems pretty simple though. I just need to know if it's made for wood. So here I lay on my roof and I'm trying to find the right angle to cut these pieces for. I don't have an angle finder and I'd rather not get one. I'd rather do this without using an angle finder. It's gonna be some tricky cuts because there's an angle here and there's an angle here. I decided on this one, Hellsman Spar Urethane. It um, protects from sunlight, the rain, temperature change, all kinds of different things. And it's got a picture of wood stuff on the front of it. It doesn't say wood, but it's got the picture on it. So I think that's why I'm gonna go with this one. Symphony. Do you know why mommy parked over here? Why? Because we got a kiddie pool. I gotta put it in our car. Where is it? It's right there on the outside. I'm gonna go put one in our car. I don't see it. On the bicycle? No honey, it's behind the bicycle, the pool. Oh. See the frog? Yes. We're gonna put that in our car. So when we go home, we, 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 can, we can play with it? Well, the cut's all wrong. Not all wrong, but looks like I need to make it less steeper angle. <sighs> Such a hassle. So as you saw earlier, I was practicing to go to the post office with Abram on my back. It's not going to happen today. I got the swimming pool at Walmart, and when I started trying to put it in the car, it was too big. I'm like, our car is pretty big. I don't understand how the swimming pool did not fit. It just was a lot bigger than I thought. So now I'm heading home to get Sam to see if he'll help me strap it to the top of the roof. I have a feeling he's gonna be less than enthusiastic about that idea. I changed my mind. I made the cut work. I just had to really push it in underneath the, the roof area over here. And it fits. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Now I gotta go make my second cut. I think this is gonna work. Fingers crossed that Sam is in a stopping point where he can help me. This 
is not looking hopeful. Okay, well I already told them I was coming to ask you this, so while I was at Walmart, yeah. I decided to purchase a kiddie pool because I wanted to refinish the table. I got sealer and everything to like fix the table up with. Right. From And um, so I got a kiddie pool because I thought the kids would splash out here. I can't get it in the car. The kiddie pool? I need so help. So what are you going to do? Put it on the roof? I need your help. The kids are in the car waiting for you. I said simply... Why a kiddie pool? I thought we were going to get a regular sized pool. Where? But you don't have time to put that up today. And I thought it'd be fun just to let the kids splash. Mm. Plus, when we're swimming in the big pool, the kids need a kiddie pool. True. Anyways. Which one did you get? The one with the little slide. Oh, okay. And I need help. And Symphony was in the clean room. Daddy's going to help us. Vlogception. Oh, vlogging with my hubby. <laughs> I want to vlog with you. Vlog with you. I want to vlog with you. All right, so I got to go to Walmart now, guys. <laughs> um. I was doing my second cut and Nia interrupted the second cut so or actually not the second cut but I gotta go fit it up there she wants me to run to Walmart and fit a pool on the roof <laughs> yay I really just did not see this happening I'm so excited and look what I come home to is he the sweetest or what I'm so excited it actually looks really nice out here and oh and it kind of even matches our chairs that is super cool all right, here, take this and give me another piece. All right. Taking it to the car. I love days like this. These are my ultimate, all-time, perfect, favorite days. Sam working in the yard, the kids playing, napping, me being crafty, making lunch, just doing stuff around our house together. There it is. that we're living close to Walmart. Cool, Daddy. You sure you have the stopper? Got the pull up. I'll show you what we got here. The pull. Run over here so you guys don't have to wait. Here's the pull. This is where we put it. We used to have a pretty big pull out here. This is where we put the old dining room table. I think Nia already showed you that. So Nia has lunch ready for me. I'm gonna go in and eat some pizza bites or something. Um, so far I got my second cut done finally This is the second cut. This is the third cut That's a crazy shape. I hope it fits right in there. It's supposed to fit right here over right above the door I'll see if that fits And there's my family eating lunch Hey guys What's up? Daddy these are hot Are they? And I, and I can't reach the pizza and I'll still have from my over date there. Tape. And I might need to be here. But that's my seat. My name is Nia Rager. Daddy. And this is... I'm going to eat real quick and go back out. So I threw my pieces up on the roof over here. And this is what I have to do to get on the roof. Climb up this ladder. Climb up the tree right here. And then hop up right there. Kind of a hassle. Wish I had a taller ladder or a shorter roof. And I'm now doing this with zero hands. I have hammer and nails in this hand, expecting those pieces to fit, which I have a good feeling that they're not going to with my luck. Okay. Uh. 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 Slight echo. This is my neighborhood, y'all. This is it. We have huge crepe myrtles right here, and this roof is blistering hot. I put my hand on it and it's burned pretty good. The only problem is I don't think these lines are straight up and down. I think they're actually at a slant a little bit like this. Kind of a bummer, but nobody sees this anyway. Not that big of a deal. Now for this big piece. Okay. Hey, mismeasured. Nia! Nia! Try to get Nia to throw me up the tape measure. It's over there on the grass. Yeah. Oh, thanks for my goggles. Throw it up to me. Oh, oh. gosh, I suck. Nice throw, honey. Oh! <laughs> right in the eye. No. Glasses? Alright, okay. thank you. Now, when you're doing this kind of work, you always want to wear safety goggles, especially if you only have one good eye. 
likelihood of you poking out that good eye is 50-50. Okay, Symphony and I are here. We're gonna try again with the dishwasher. It's still not working properly, is it? So what do we got here? What is this called? Lemon. Lemony shine? Oh, lemmy shine. <laughs> And we're gonna see if this works. I guess you're not gonna come. <laughs> Nia, you need to come check on me more often. I could have fell off the roof and been laying out here dead. All right, got it all done. Here it is. Not perfect lined up right there. I'll perfect that joint in a minute. But here it is, all up there, all the way down. Cool, not too bad. I gotta nail it up and then I gotta put up some trim. Okay, so far I have all the siding up on the roof up there. Looks good. It's a different color because obviously we're gonna be repainting the house and that's why I'm replacing it, the rotting wood, I already explained that. So right now I'm putting up the trim around the door and what I'm having to do with this uh, trim is knock all the nails out. So I can place it against the wood again. I'm gonna get this piece all prepped and then I'll take you guys along with me when I nail it back up because I know you guys are dying to see what it looks like to nail up a piece of trim. Hmm. I'm back on the roof and I've got to put up this trim. Uh, uh. That'll do for that one. Now I gotta put this other piece on. And when I was taking it off, I actually broke it. So but I still have the broken piece. Did not want to have to replace this wood. So I'm just going to nail it on against it like so. See, just like that. I don't like to waste wood or materials. I'm poor. All right, now I gotta put the quarter round up. Very nice. It's so nice not having to get new wood because it just fits and I don't have to resize it or anything so I just use the old pieces. I made the mistake of buying cheap detergent in the last couple of times and I really think that it's affected the way the dishwasher works. So we're going to try this out. We're going to use all Lemmy Shine which is really not that expensive. It's just like a dollar more than the inexpensive detergent for your dishwasher. So we'll see how it works and I guess I'll let you guys know. There it is, all done. Looks pretty good. This little gap will just caulk. I wasn't able to fit it right and I didn't feel like redoing the cut, so. There we go, all the trim is up. So, I guess the next step is to uh, clean up. Well guys, thanks for coming along with me for this house repair. I hope you guys enjoyed repair time with Sam. Tune in next time. And until then, keep on cutting. Ready. Do I look nice? Hey, I want to go in <laughs> to use it. I was trying to let it get warm. So many colors in this kitchen. Kitty? <laughs> <laughs> what a silly daddy. <laughs> hey, that silly boy. <laughs> He's brushing the floor. <laughs> so I'm going to men's meeting. I haven't been in a while. So I'm a little bit nervous. I ain't going to lie about it. Um, but I do, I need to surround myself around godly men more often than I am. I do meet with Heath every Thursday, as you guys know, to do a little Bible study. But that's, or every Wednesday. But um, on Thursdays, every other week, they do a men's Bible study. And every other, on the other week, they do a women's Bible study. And I haven't been going to mine just because I'm just tired of driving by this point. Because I drive so much. And it's in a different city, and it's... A lot of driving for me, not too much, about 30 minutes, but still. I just get tired of driving, but this is the time that it's really worth driving to a Bible study meeting because that's where I get the most out of the drive. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Man, this guy gets around so good. He could be in the back room and he could be over here on the computer and <laughs> she can say, Abram, come here, and he will crawl all the way through the hallway around the uh, living room, come through the kitchen, and go all the way in there to go see Nia. 
He's awesome. Look at him. He's an expert let's crawler. Let's do it. Let's show him. His whole body goes like this when he's crawling. Let's show him. All right. Let's show you. Hey, bro. He's coming for my girl. Hi. Hi. So I just got back from the men's meeting tonight. It went really good. We talked about a lot of personal stuff between us men. I'm very glad I did not bring the vlogger. You guys wouldn't have wanted to be in there anyway. You guys maybe would have wanted to been, been there. Gosh, I can't talk right now. I'm sorry, I'm so sleepy. Um, Nia just left the house because we both have a sweet tooth. She's going to go get us some uh, something from Brahms or Sonic, not sure. Oh my gosh, you're crazy. There you go. <laughs> She's home. She got Brahms. What do we got, honey? This is Sam's. Small strawberry banana shortcake. Oh wow, that looks delicious. That's a shortcake? Strawberry shortcake? Strawberry banana shortcake. And this is a banana split. This is a small. Check out my small. We have a leak in the trash bag? Guys, seriously. Are you sure that you ordered a small for me? I don't think you did. This is always a small. You must have ordered a large. Yes, score for me. So Nia wants me to say goodbye with her on my back for some reason, so guys, <laughs> don't forget, oh wait, I did it wrong, guys, don't forget, we love you, and remember to love each other. Mm -hmm. Am I heavy, Sam? No, not at all. <laughs> Cork going like this all day long. <laughs> You're the one that can't hold on. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I yes. Okay, got it. Thank you. I need to stay and wait for it. Yeah, probably. So I'm having to drink more than a gallon of water today, obviously, because I'm sweating so much. A gallon of water is for normal activity during the day. If I'm having to do hard work like this, I gotta drink at least a gallon and a half. So this is, I've already drank a gallon. This is another 24 ounce, so. Hey. <laughs> You're <laughs> <laughs> We're going in now. 